Hi, beautiful people. How are you? I hope you're having a great day. With you, I can be sad with you. Just take my hand and fly up through the dreams where the skies are so clear. Well, Tesla was feeling a little needy, weren't ya? So he wanted up in my lap. So here he is. We had a busy weekend. We had three grandchildren here. My granddaughter Cadence and her brother Charlie went to Walmart with me. We went on Friday late afternoon because I knew it would wipe me out and I had things that I needed to do on Saturday. So I rested when we got home. But after I got home, my husband had dinner almost ready and we realized we forgot to pick up Carter while we were in town. So after dinner, I had to turn right around and head back into town and pick up Carter. He was instrumental in helping my husband over the weekend. Well, on Saturday. In my defense, I was exhausted after the Walmart trip. And then I needed to go to the Dollar Tree. And then I needed to get gas. And after all of that, I just wanted to get home. He was understanding and thankfully accepted the fact that I wasn't thinking straight. And since my granddaughter and Carter just got their driver's permit, I was letting her do some driving. And I don't know if you remember teaching your kids how to drive, how scary that feels sometimes, but it was a fun experience. I think he's a sleepy boy, but he's fighting it, aren't you? Like a little three-year-old. Yes. I picked up several items that I needed at Walmart and at the Dollar Tree. I bought new bath rugs and towels for my bathroom. I love them. And I guess I'm one of those people who need a change in decor. After a while, I have to change things around. I bought a birthday gift for a three-year-old. She's my ex's great-great niece. She's so adorable. And that was fun to pick out. I wish I had a picture of the cute little outfit that we bought. It had a little tutu with it and a Minnie Mouse shirt and little tiny shorts. My granddaughter found it. With three grandkids, my son Matthew, my husband and I, there were dishes galore that needed to be done throughout the day. I've learned to tackle them as they come so I don't have a bigger mess later on. Daddy, Daddy, pretty close. You know, I think the template. I'm not gonna use this as the template. Oh, okay. I'll probably have to tweak in the. So I've decided during the summer that since there's always so much activity happening around here, that my Tuesday videos would be a day in the life several days in the life, actually. But I thought that would be fun, and I hope you enjoy it. And if you do, click that like button and subscribe. I really appreciate it. I love you all so much. I truly find this fun. On Sunday, I worked on cleaning off my desk. I picked up a little lamp for my desk. It's pretty. I have trouble seeing the numbers on my laptop, but to get to that, I had to rearrange and clean off my desk, which is fine. It was getting pretty dusty. I moved my fibromyalgia books 
back there. So what is important for me to access here on my desk is here now, like my phone charger, my clock, my planner. I have some file folders that I keep things in that keeps my desk from getting all cluttered, like doctor stuff and things like that. I need a coffee warmer, so that's here. I've got a little box that was white that I spray painted blue to keep things like my phone charger and stuff in. And my planner keeps me on track so I don't miss doctor appointments. And that printer over there, maybe it's seen its last day. We still use it on occasion when we're printing a lot of things, but my husband tends to pile things on it, which drives me bonkers, but that's something for another day. I used that old printer when I was printing hundreds of pages of research articles when I was working on my dissertation. I kept them all organized in file boxes so that I could access them more easily, and it, it just made my life a lot better. And then over here, Next to my computer, I have my headphones, and it's where I keep my microphone when I'm not using it. And then down here to the left is a filing cabinet that I use to file and store things. This desk doesn't have any drawers or places to store things, but it's the one I picked out because it's really big and it holds a lot, including that huge TV screen that I use when I'm researching things. It makes things a whole lot bigger for me to see. Perfection isn't going to help me, so I do what I can. But the big thing that happened this weekend with my youngest son and two of my grandsons was helping my husband get the framework up on our greenhouse. My husband couldn't do it alone, and he needed extra hands, so they were, were they were really wonderful. They worked really hard on Saturday. My husband wanted to get all of that framework put up because it was supposed to rain on Sunday, which it did. And they were able to accomplish all of that. My husband says that next year we won't need as large of a garden as we have right now. So we'll have that greenhouse. So that's nice, less for him to take care of. And I don't know if I've ever shared this before, but my husband is actually 14 years younger than me. So he'll be 50 this year and I just turned 64. So he's got a little more spunk in his step than I have, but he has said he's starting to feel his age. I remember being 50. Unfortunately, I think I got fibromyalgia when I was 49, so I felt way older than 50. And we plan on using the greenhouse even in the winter, hopefully. And he said there'll be a section for me to grow flowers in that I can put outside when they're ready, and I'm really excited about that. I bought a couple of hanging plants. I decided on red this year. I just wanted red for my front porch. Wanna go outside? Wanna go outside? Huh? Wanna go outside? What? You want to? You want to? You want to go out? What? You want to go out?
I still want to clean my porch with the pressure washer and get it stained. Golly, it needs it so badly. I also need to trim our bushes. That's for another day too. Maybe next weekend. And then Carter, he asked for a haircut. So if you're new here, my first career of 20 years was as a hairdresser and I owned a beauty college with a friend and did that for about three years. So once in a while, one of my kids or grandkids asked for a haircut. But the last time that I cleaned out my closet, I put my clippers someplace. I took them out of the bag that they were in, pitched the bag, and put those clippers in a container somewhere in my closet. At least that's where I thought they were. So I had looked everywhere and I was just sure they were in the closet, but I couldn't find them. So I ended up taking pretty much everything out of the closet that was on the shelves. I needed to reorganize my clothes anyways, my shorts, long pants, and capris that I had in bins and refold them and organize so I could find things. So I did the hat. And the very last thing, I looked up and I saw this blue bin and I thought, what, what's in there? And sure enough, there was my clippers. Oh my gosh, I didn't even remember putting them in there, but that's what I did. So now I have the clippers so that I can cut his hair and whatever the style is that he's wanting done. I was too tired on Saturday to do a haircut after the busy day that I'd had. And Sunday, they all went to church and then back to their homes. So one day this week, we'll get his haircut. Sunday, I ended up working on tons of laundry. I had to wash all the blankets and pillowcases. I suppose I didn't have to, but... In my mind, the next time they come, all the blankets and pillows will smell nice and fresh. Our olfactory system can be really strong and put strong memories in our head. And I want my grandkids to remember grandma's house smells good. So all of those blankets and pillows were on our couch and one of our chairs. The couch and chair will stretch right out. It makes a perfect place for all of them to sleep while my youngest son was sleeping in the bedroom where they will usually sleep when he's not here. But until we figure out if he's got sleep apnea, which we all think he does, they don't want to sleep in the same room with him because he snores really loud and they say they can't sleep. So it all worked out. Perfectly. So I was able to get my pillows back on my couch and my chair. I like them. They make me happy and they look pretty with the decorations on my mantle. It's the little things that make us happy. I wanted to end this video with a quote from Martin Luther King Jr. He said, I have decided to stick to love. Hate is too great a burden to bear. That's so beautiful. I send you gentle hugs and support. Love you. With you, I can be sad with you. Just take my hand and fly up through the dreams where the skies are so clean. Got your toy? You come in. He's got a toy. Love me today. Let's run up through the fields where the sun shines.